hello hello good morning students uh, we have started uh, your uh, next unit that is nothing but the non conventional machining processes we had discussed uh, uh, edm process wedm process ecm process so today we are going to see the plasma arc machining that is nothing but the pam process so for that uh, i am sharing one video so let's go through this particular video so that you will understand uh, what exactly this uh, machining process is all about isn't it so i'm sharing this particular video now hello friends today we are going to see the non conventional machining process that is a plasma arc machining which is also called as a pam in this we'll cover the following topic that is a principle of the pam that is a plasma arc machining setup of pam process or a controlling parameter and its application so first of all we should know that what is plasma everybody knows that there are three state of matters that is a solid liquid and gaseous and the fourth state of matter is obtained when the gas is heated to a temperature around 5500 degree 500 degrees celsius so this agree at a very high temperature we are heating the gas then when the gas is completely get ionized then the temperature at the center of the plasma is between 11000 to 28000 degrees Celsius. So, when such type of ion gas is injected on the workpiece with a very high velocity, so naturally the metal will get removed or it may get melted. Principle of plasma arc machining. Here I have shown the plasma arc torch here and the workpiece is the power supply. Now, when a very high velocity jet of plasma when it is directed on the workpiece you can see there i am putting this arrow right so it is directed on the workpiece uh, on that particular surface uh, and through the plasma arc cutting torch the metal from the workpiece get melted so which results ultimately in the machining of the process so so when very high um, temperature gas has been injected there the setup of the machining setup of the process that is the plasma arc machining so in this we will see the five basic parameters plasma cutting torch tool and work piece gas cutting unit cooling system and power supply unit so in this diagram we have shown the torch dc power supply unit electrodes insulators nozzle and the workpiece so first we will go for the plasma cutting torch it carries a tungsten electrode which will be act as a cathode which is fitted in a that small chamber there and at the other end of this uh, torch a small converge, uh, converging uh, orifice is there which is called as the nozzle which will act as an anode there Here the nozzle and the workpiece both will act as the anode. Then the tool and second parameter is the tool and the workpiece. Here you can see the electrodes. Here this electrode, this tungsten electrode, is connected to the negative terminal of the DC power supply, and the workpiece. 
That is all about uh, the plasma arc machining. So I hope you have understood the plasma arc machining process. Uh, now we will discuss the abrasive jet machining. And for the same, uh, I would like to share another video uh, through which uh, you can understand this uh, abrasive jet machining very easily, very thoroughly. So let me share you that video. So through this video, we will understand the abrasive jet machining. So guys, in this video, we are going to learn about abrasive jet machining process. So guys, this is a non-conventional machining process. And uh, we are going to learn in this video, that is the working principle of abrasive jet machining. We are going to learn its equipments and the actual process of abrasive jet machining. We are going to learn application. 
limitations as well as the advantages and disadvantages of this process. So guys, let's begin with the principle of abrasive jet machining. So guys, uh, this abrasive jet machining process works on a basic principle of abrasive erosion. So when if a high velocity abrasive particles are strike on a hard or even work piece, it tends to remove some amount of the material from that work piece. So it removes the sum of the metal on the striking surface or you can call it as a work piece. So guys as we can see in this image, the stream of the high velocity abrasive particles are bombarded on the uh, or work piece which having velocity of about 200 meter per second which strike goes to strike on the work piece and the distance about this nozzle and the work piece is very low about 2 mm so this at that point the metal removal takes place so when, uh, let's check out the uh, equipments and the process which is used in abrasive jet machining so guys, as you can see over here in this image, there are several equipments which is used. It is non-conventional machining process. It's followed starting with the supply of the glass over here. So guys, the key and the track high velocity air or gas, which is used or gonna use for the machining, which is mostly pure carbon dioxide, nitrogen. We can call uh, we can use in this process which is used in this gas propagation system. So when we talk about gas propagation system, there are several components. The first one is the, or the car, compressed air, which is stored inside the cylinder, which, which is compressed gas, which is followed by the isolation valve and the filters. So this filled compressed gas is then sent to the filler and the dryer, where all the dust and unwanted particles, along with the moisture from the air, removed, gets removed, and now this clean air is sent to the mixing chamber. Now this clean air goes to the mixing chamber, and inside that mixing chamber, an abrasive filter is there, which keeps the abrasive particles inside the mixing chamber, which gets mixes with the uh, air. And this high pressurized abrasive air then goes to the nozzle, and inside that nozzle, the velocity of the abrasive particles uh, increases tremendously around uh, 200 seconds that increases and it goes uh, directly on the workpiece and it's directly heated on the surface of the workpiece. So at that point the metal removal takes place and this is guys the micro cutting action which is going to take place on the surface of the workpiece. So guys in this case the critical fracture of the workpiece is uh, carried out over here in this case. So guys that was the basically the process. Now let's talk about the application of abrasive jet machine. So it is used in the drilling and cutting of the hardened metals. Over here we can cut also and we can drill small holes also in the hardened metals. It is used for the machining brittle and heat sensitive materials like glass, quartz, sapphire, mica, ceramic, etc. It is used to manufacture the electronic devices, electronic components also. Also, guys, it is used to debury the small holes, which is not possible in our conventional machine, due to the criticality of the machine parts. So we can use this a basic jet machine. So when that was the application, let's go to the study the advantages and disadvantages of this abrasive jet machine. So guys, the low metal removal rate over here in case so guys, this process takes some time disadvantages and you get high surface finish as the metal removal rate is very low. It can machine the heat sensitive metal as we can see in our sensitive materials. So to prevent the expansion of the work pieces over here in this case that comes with an advantage and the abrasive particles can like embed it into a work piece if the work piece material is soft it can embed in the it is free from vibration, this machine, that is the main advantage. So, guys, the initialization cost is very low, which comes in with the advantages as compared to the other non-traditional processing of course. 
is, uh, is very cost economical and the three section can be machined with even in this case of the basic transmission. So the nozzle light is very limited in this case. So it's uh, this nozzle is a frequent frequently replacement module and the abrasive particles cannot be reused in this process. So the disadvantage is also also guys you cannot use for machining the soft and ductile materials so you won't get for this advantage. So guys uh, thank you for watching this video we have seen the process of abrasive jet machining we have also learned the operating principle is working in equipments we have also seen application as well we have also seen the advantages and disadvantages as well. So guys I hope you like my video thank you for watching my video guys please so that was all about the uh, today's session. Uh, I hope you have understood the plasma arc machining and abrasive jet machining processes. So uh, similarly, we will continue the uh, our uh, topic and we will finish uh, this particular unit in uh, next lecture. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much. All the best.